everyone, it's me again, Crystal Christoffels, all the way from here to Nag in the Eastern Cape. Welcome to our part two of the African Dance Feast. I hope you enjoyed it so far. <laughs> so let's just get into it. Before we do, let's pray. So can we close our eyes? Can we bow our heads? We thank you, Father, for an awesome day that you've blessed us with. We thank you for the gift of life and we thank you that you've given us, given us the expression of dance. So today, Father, I pray that we'll have an awesome time in your presence. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. So let's just get into it. Remember, the last piece we went, the last piece of the song we did was this part, remember? Yeah. Step down and throw. You jump. And as soon as you do the bit, the second part starts here where you actually have to go back on your left foot, okay? You go on your left foot. And then from there, put your hands to the side like you're jumping over a fence, a tiny fence, okay? And I also like this, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? And then we're going to go one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three. Three and four. One, two, three, and four. So that's four of that, okay? It's four. Four sets. So the movement goes like this. Heel, heel, left hand in front, right hand at the back. So you're gonna go one, two, three, and four. 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 Okay? And right after that, we're going to go, putting your hands down, you're going to go, you're going to go, we're going to do a little bit of, yeah, try to move your body a little bit, so you're going to go, one, two, three, and four, 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 only four of those, okay, at that moment goes, one, two, circle, circle, one, two, circle, circle, one, two, Circle, circle, one, two, circle, circle, okay? And right after that we go, put your hands like this, also using your heel, you're going to go one, you're going to just go one, two, kick, ball, change, okay? You have that, so it goes one, two, kick, ball, change, okay? You're going into a squat. So what we're going to do now is a small cartwheel, it's not supposed to be a big cartwheel, you're going to do a cartwheel small cartwheel over you can do a head roll unfortunately a small cartwheel is not supposed to be a big cartwheel you're going to do a cartwheel small cartwheel over you can do a head roll unfortunately i can't do it here so i'm just going to do a normal cartwheel okay and then after doing the cartwheel we're going to go you can go there you can go down one, two, three, four, and then we're all gonna do like a Mexican wave and come up and we're gonna go one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and look. Two, three, and look. And then from there you can do whatever you want. So I hope you enjoy that. Yeah. Can we do it with some music and see how it works out? I hope you enjoy it.
if they won't own dry it. I mean, make war, everybody fight it. Done with them super I ain't keeping quiet. They say this won't hurt me. They lying. They just trying to murk me. Slowly, I'm dying. Lied, they lied. Now they trying to body us. Pride, my pride. Your button is a slaughterhouse. Trying to hold on, but it's hard screaming. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Greetings once again in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is day two for the Free to Dance online conference. I'm just so excited because we have now made it to this part and i'm hoping you have so much fun in the last video that we had so today i'm taking you through the last set of the dance and i'm hoping you're excited i'm hoping that you have your energy up and i'm praying that you're ready to get a little bit more creative so what you would need within this dance you would need to be excited you need to be fresh prayed up and you need to have a soccer ball or any ball for that matter to assist you with doing this dance you know i always enjoy doing props because it gives me the opportunity just to get to that creative edge and so i'm excited i have the energy i have the ball but if there's one thing i'm missing and that is to be prayed up so let's just start off the session by praying my father we bless you and thank you right now that even as we start this session, I pray in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that everything we do will be done to your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, I, I thought of starting this run through from the last part where we ended off, which was the tutting piece when we were here. So, it went like this, if you can remember, like this, there, one, two, three. Okay, so the next set I want to take you through right now is a, is a, is a part. I, I really enjoy about this dance and so the thing you would need to have is a ball next to you and so after you've done that piece you would pick the ball up and then the next move you would then do is a basketball move but instead of bouncing the ball you will pass the ball to this hand so it will be a move like this one two three four one two three four and one two three four okay let's try that five six seven and one two three four one two three four okay once you've done that three times the next thing you would do is then put the ball down and one once you put the ball down, you step in front of the ball, just so that we don't have no issues with you tripping or making a mistake by kicking the ball, you know? So you step over the ball, and then I'm gonna step a little bit back just so that the camera can see. So you've stepped over the ball. Once you've stepped over the ball, your next move will be to kick, one, look, look. So once you've done that part, you've kicked it, one, look, look. Your next move will be to one, two, three. That's actually a Motown move. But one thing I like about hip hop is that you don't have to have, it's not a specific genre where you can only do hard hitting moves. You can add a flavor in by doing Motown stuff. And so that is the next move. So you kick, one, look, 
Look, one, two, three. Let's try it one more time. And five, six, seven, and kick. One, one, two, one, two, three. Your next move, you will then doggy. You will then open, open. One, two. Okay, let's try that. Five, six, seven, and open. Open, one, two. Once you've done that part, you go one, two, three. Okay, so let's try now. Take it from the kick after you've done the ball move, and then we'll take it from the top, and then we'll bring it to here. Okay, I hope you're getting this. So let's go. Five, six, seven, and kick. One, two, one, two, three, and open, open, one, two, one, two, three. Okay, so now that you've got that part, we will take it from the top, and then we will just see how far you're getting with the moves. But I always say, and as I've said in the video, the first in day one, is that if you're stuck at any part, what you can do is you can pause the dance, and then you can take it from the back, and then flow through. Okay. So, all right, I hope you're ready. You got your ball in the hand. So let's take it from this part and then stop where we'll go till we, where we end it off, okay? So five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, put it down, down, two, three, four, one, two, three, Four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Because we've coming, we are coming to the end. What I always encourage people to do in hip hop, while you're following a routine, it's always nice to get a solo piece within it. So I'm gonna allow you the opportunity to add in your own swag, but we will add it in as this video continues. Okay, so I hope you're ready and excited. Okay, so once you've done, once you've done that part, so you went one, two, one, two. That's your next move. So one, two, one, one, two. So that's just like a pop, one, two, okay? So let's try that one more time. Five, six, seven and one two one pop up okay so once you've done that pop pop up and then you bring it close the next thing i want you to do there is add in your own swag so what i'm going to do now is at the end of the stance i'm going to add in something different which was not initially part of the video but when we get to this part, we add in our own flavor. So we're gonna run through the stance one more time, and then we're gonna do it to the music. And then once we've done it to the music, you can add in your own flavor to make it look good. Because if, when you add in your swag to a dance, you make it your own. Okay, so we're gonna run through the dance one more time, and then we're just gonna do our own thing at the end, just to kind of like have some fun with it. Okay, so let's take it from here. And five, six, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, 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 and one, two, and pop it. Right, so when I play the music and you get to this part, I want you to start adding in your own swag to it. I'm gonna do me and I want you to do you. Okay, so let's run through the dance one more time and then we can add the swag at the end. Okay, 
eyes on, face paint on. When the opposition comes, it's time to drop. Squad clothes on, you can call it under armor. God given weapons so the enemy won't harm you. Yes, I'm a snitch.